There we go. This is the new Duotone unit wing. Thank you, the little montage. New Geotone unit wing is the one with handles. Everyone goes, oh, I want the boom one or the handle one. Well, this is the boom one, it's the unit. Uh, I use this wing myself. It's pretty rigid, which is nice. Very, yes. So they talk about the geometry of the leading edge that helps optimize that. So this is, they say, why it's the stiffest wing on the market because it controls the skin tension of the, the wing, making it really tight. So it's. it's it's pretty cool when you pump it up because you lay it down and start pumping and the wingtips actually like start splaying out and getting this whole canopy nice and tight so so that yeah it gives you a very tight skin tension which actually controls how the uh, I guess the draft of the wing holds in so it, it, it helps the wing from backwinding when you're under power so it also helps you when you're sheeting on hard, you can really oversheet this wing and it'll keep powering. It doesn't sort of fold in on itself. Constantly get the question, handles versus boom. Um, I found going between the boom one and this one, at first you find, oh, my hands don't slide along the boom as easy, kind of get, but then this is a bit more marked. So you can kind of get up, grab the front handle, grab the back, and you're off where you're moving your hands a lot more with the other setup. Just, they're pretty well set. Um, the, uh, the only time I've ever changed my backhand is going from this one here to feeling like I need a bit more power and trying to pull on the on the bottom one. Yeah, and you get used to it. So everyone that we've spoken to and myself, I've come from a boom. First day out on the water, it felt foreign because I felt like I had to always sight the handle, but it does, it does get to the point where you physically just grab the handle naturally. You start to get used to your wing once you start riding it. And but yeah. handles mean a lighter setup. So having it lightweight, this is more the downwind wave riding setup. You can just hold the front handle. It does float and hold itself up really nice and easy flying one hand. Yeah, it's very stable, so it doesn't swing around, doesn't twist around side to side. It sort of can trail you. They have tightened up this handle too. So I find a lot of the time if you're on a speedy downwind run or you're surfing, you can physically hold that front handle to keep it from twisting. And if you feel it twisting one way, you can sort of counter it, so that really helps. Um, yeah, you're, you're looking at a very lightweight, very, oh, the, the leading edge, the center strut, sorry, is a massive factor if you're considering wave riding. It stays up above the water, so this keeps the wing ready for you to just lift up and go. Some people with booms find that it can sink a little bit, but the better you get, the less I have problems with the boom as well. So, but this eliminates the wing going under the water ever. Yeah, I've found you know back to backing these with the boom. Um, this is a setup where it's uh, it's got that lighter weight. The the tension in this is very different. The new setup, the new unit, has that nice line through it, and it is more tunable through the canopy by being able to extend the boom. Um, but compared to the old wing with the boom, the draft is locked in so much better with this. It just it just feels like it's pulling from right here, this band across the middle here. It just That's where the power is. Your balance go off the handles and in gusty spots, it's not shifting around, kind of get very backhand heavy or anything like that. It's just really quite a bit more consistent pull. Yeah, handles, strong the wind. Handles are very rigid too. So you actually get a bit of, fair bit of feedback with these handles now, the EVA has really tightened that up. So, yeah, unreal. I think it's one of the the fastest wings on the market too. Just just went over to WA and saw a lot of these on the water and equal amount of echoes too, which was really good because... I think the new, all the new stuff that's coming through, you know, it's, it's 
in its infancy, but the bigger companies, especially the ones that have a windsurfing background and some experience there, and, and the kitings too, but really the windsurfing are focusing on that skin tension and getting it so it's a, more of a, a wing profile. You can really see it here, the shape. You know, that's just inflated in the shop. This whole thing is nice and tight. A lot of other ones are really, really floppy. Um, a real floppy kind of bag setup where this having tension, you know, there's tension along the trailing edge because the wings tips are uh, sort of splayed out as you inflate them, they pull tension in. Really helps keep that everything locked in and be a more consistent feel. Woo! Window. Let's <laughs> got a window. Most of them do now. Dump valve, maybe. Extended a dump valve so you can leave that inflated. Look, pump just, that up, just let just, it down with the dump valve. This is easy. It's fun. Guys are getting this to just to cruise along on their sub in like eight knots just to instead of having a sail on it. It's fun. That's not, even, that's not even the dingin. But then the dingin comes into it and everyone's having a good time. Let's watch some more montage. Cue the montage. Cue the montage. <laughs>